Studio Number no. 2 by Fernando Sor. This is a wonderful etude to just work on your Albert Alberti bass. It's basically an alternation. Um, and on top of that, we have a melody, right? So the most important thing is to really be aware of what you're doing with your right hand. You're pinching the first string together with the thumb, replying with the index on the G string, then your thumb plays the D string back to the G string, right? I seem to find myself in the wrong position for C major here. So you actually have three and two holding the, the C and the E, right? And then one grabs the C, and so you bring your ring finger or middle finger, according to Segovia, just use the middle finger for that. And the reason for it is that he liked, and a lot of people do, including myself, assigning the index finger to the third string, middle to the second, and ring to the first. That's what we call Pima position, P-I-M-A, from the Spanish pulgar indice medio anular. And so we go. Right, so here you have, um, I prefer to use my ring finger quite a bit more. Now, when you enter the third measure, you're going to have an F here pinky down here for the second string third fret right so the way we do this is we actually scoot our second finger in underneath our ring finger right? doing that if you tilt you close your wing or your flap in your arm it's going to be easier to that to do that even while holding that D right so position and you bring your pinky to the D on the fifth string so that's fifth fret you play that together with the open B string right that G is always coming back right with the index so middle finger for the second string second finger grabs the F right here on the D string right then you move yourself to first position and three back on the C then kind of like a B position, but really it's a G, G, G major chord. Right? Three, open A, and then you're back on, right? And the next part is pretty, pretty much a repeat, I'll just play through it. It, right you screw your second finger over so that it is grabbing the F on the third fret D string your pinky grabs the D on the A A bass right and you play that together with the B string right back in three then a different ending it's still a G7 chord the IG major chord right now the fingering here is quite adept right so you I, I would use the the ring finger but Segovia has it as middle Index, middle, index, thumb. Now, a lot of people tend to play this next note very quickly. Here you actually have an eighth note relationship, so you have more time, right? Right, most people just kind of go through it. Right, so you actually have more time there. And then you actually start the dominant, right? Actually, basically, turn around three and two. So you have a B on the second fret, and that's the F on the third. I'll flip those two around, right? Flip them around. One replaces the four on the B string. Then move on onto the E string. Stay there with four. You're going to actually shift now your index to not playing the third the third string, but now you're going to play a B string. G7 chord, right? So you have one, add to that one the B on the fifth string, second fret, reply with D on the third fret, second string, 
and stay there with one and four you're going to just in, uh, put in a suspension and resolve that so this is how this works you're coming out of um, I don't have measured numbers here but uh, where, where the C kind of came around before based on the same chords I take my liberty and play those a little bit slower I know they're 16th notes they're marked as dotted uh, you can actually and then things change you are in third position with the bar your second finger grabs a G sharp on the sixth string then you're going to have to grab your B here on the 4th fret. So you're going to scoot your 3rd finger in to the 3rd string, 4th fret. Then your pinky grabs the E on the 5th fret, 2nd string. Right? Then you move yourself so that you're in kind of like an A minor formation. Right? So 3 and 4 are very uh, perfectly placed. Scoot that in. Right? the same thing that you did on third position but this time on second then you get to first position grab the F now there's a B there that seems to be a mistake yeah I think that that should be an e, a, a right then make your bar right it's all part of the D minor chord um, it, it looks like F major, but it's really D minor, it's inverted, right? Keep your four there because it's a suspension. One and two. Now it's better to grab that F with four because you're landing on a C major chord right after that. 